Hello and welcome. In the last video, we had a discussion about class with respect to system vanilla. We saw that how to declare a class and where we can declare a class. Okay. Now in this video, and also we saw that how to allocate memory, how to create objects for particular class. Okay. Now in this video, we will try to understand the concept of this keyword in system Verilog and it is one of the most frequently asked interview question. Okay. Now we will try to see before moving to that topic. Let's have a discussion of this example. Now see, this is what a simple example I have taken. I have declared a class ABC, which contain two properties of in type and one method display which is just displaying the values of this properties x and y and i have declared a function new one constructor which contain the arguments of a and b int time huh? and now i am assigning these arguments a and b to x and y so x is equal to a y is equal to b now in future within module I am declaring two instances or objects for class ABC and within initial begin block I am just allocating a memory for these objects h1 is equal to new and passing values 20 and 30 to this constructor and just with the help of object 1 I am displaying the value of x and y. Similarly with object 2 I am allocating memory and passing values 5 and 10 and then with the help of this object 2 I am just calling this constructor display which displays the values of x and y okay now see h1 is equal to new 20 comma 30 this 20 and 30 value will pass to this constructor a and b and i'm just assigning the values of a and b to x and y so now x x and y will become a and b and just the in def, in this method i am displaying the values of x and y now we will see what the output we will get after running this code so go to transcript that one line command q very log file name what is file name class examples now see the expected output is first time display x is equal to 20 30 and next time 5 and 10 values of a and b now we will see what the output we are getting now see we are getting output as expected values of x is equal to 20 y is equal to 30 and second time values of x is equal to 5 and 10 y is equal to 10 this is what a simple example now we will see the concept of this keyword very important <coughs> now see in this example i just declare a class same example and what i did is i have taken a constructor function new which contain two arguments x and y in type and these variables arguments are same x and y as the class properties x and y so obviously there will be a conflict let me repeat if variables are same of same as class property inside this function new arguments and we are assigning x is equal to x, y is equal to y. This arguments to this class properties, right? Left hand side here the class property and right hand side are the function new arguments. So what will happen here? Here will uh, here the conflict will be there because the arguments are same as class properties. So what default, what the simulator will do, simulator just assign a default values to this x and y due to this conflict and as you know default values of int data type is 0, two state data types right, two state data type default value is 0. Here in the test I am just allocating a memory to object and passing 20 and 30 and 5 at 10 same as previous value so our expectation is 
first time it will print 20 and 30 and next time it will print 5 and 10 but this is not the case we will try to run same example qverylog file name now we want that first time it will print 10 and 20 and second time 5 and 10 but as there is a conflict between properties and arguments of function simulator will assign a default values now see simulator is assigned default values to those properties to avoid this confusion to avoid such confusion or such conflict this keyword is used how to use this keyword now see this dot x will refer to class property this dot y will refer to class property very simple same example class properties x y and the function new arguments are same as class properties x and y and i am assigning this dot x is equal to x so right hand side are the function new arguments okay and there will be no conflict simulator will understand that this dot x means this class property and same of creating objects for the class abc and within initial begin, begin allocating memory and providing the values to this constructor right 20 30 and displaying value 5 10 and displaying with the help of uh, i'm calling this display method with the help of object h2 and h1 okay now we will see here what will happen now that confusion <coughs> in conflict <coughs> will not be there simulator easily understand what we are doing so that this keyword will refer to the current class property now expected output x equal to 20 y is equal to 30 first time and second time x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 10 c this is what we are getting out as expected so with the help of this keyword we can avoid this conflict and this keyword will refer to the current class property so this is what all about the concept of this keyword with respect to system very long i hope with this example you have understood the concept of this keyword in system very long and i also hope you enjoyed this video and remember this is the one of the most frequently asked interview question explain the concept of this keyword with the help of example so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching